So, the first need, well, not in any uh, particular, uh, particular priority, but the first thing that I, I think we need to talk about is purpose. Now, if you listened through the questions of life series, we actually tackled this one um, a bit in the question, the third question, why am I here? Why am I here speaks to the question of purpose, right? Now, contextually, what does purpose as a need have to do with self-manifestation? It's really because if you don't understand the reason for your existence, you won't be able to manifest it because becoming is all about manifesting something. It's all about manifesting yourself, right? But yourself and the reason for yourself is inextricably uh, linked. If you don't know yourself and if you don't know why you are here, you won't be able to manifest. And if you, won't be, if you can't manifest, you can't become. So starting with purpose as a deep need, right, is very important. And I alluded to the fact that we see a lot of people who are seemingly successful or who have the trappings of success, you know, the big cars, uh, the fat bank accounts, uh, you know, the tall buildings and all of that, but deep down are actually miserable. You know, people committing suicide, people, people just checking out of life, people who seem to have so much going for them, but they are really depressed, right? At the root of this issue is the fact that this need has not been addressed, the need of purpose, because you can be doing some other things and you can be doing them very well, but if you haven't really tackled what your purpose is, you won't really be fulfilled because you're not manifesting your true self. So identifying what your purpose is as early as possible is truly um, important, truly critical to understanding and becoming your true self. Uh, there are so many people in history who weren't necessarily wealthy but were truly successful because they found their purpose. People like Dr. Martin Luther King, right, who uh, was a voice, a very strong voice for ending uh, discrimination against the blacks in the 20th century, right? He wasn't a, a wealthy man, if you were to judge him by the standards of wealth, but he was successful because he, he found his purpose and was able to impact and influence a generation. And even successive generations still remember him today his impact and his influence is still being felt because he walked the path of purpose, right? So if you're going to be truly successful, if you're going to truly manifest or become yourself, you have to answer the need of purpose. See you soon.